Praise the Lord, Albuquerque, New Mexico, preaching the gospel of Jesus. Albuquerque, New Mexico, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hold on, what's what is your name, man? Chris. Chris. Yeah. So he he was talking to you about the gospel, man, and being saved. Uh, the the main thing is repenting, man. Yeah, repenting from the sin, man, yeah. and meaning it in your heart too. Yeah. So whatever you're going through in this life, I don't know if you listed off of sins, alcohol, drug addiction, pornography, anything, homosexual activity, anything. Jesus wants to set you free. That's why he came into the world, right? Right. But you have to be willing, Chris. Chris, right? Yeah. With, with your heart, man, wanting to, man, and uh, it comes from your 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 mouth and your heart. And it, God judges our heart, so He knows. I mean, so as as we pray with you, man, uh, the main thing is, do you believe it in your heart? Do you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and He was buried and He rose again on the third day? And do you believe that right now, after we pray with you, after you talk to the Lord, that you can be set free from all sin? And that the Lord, the Holy Spirit can come inside you and change your life. Amen. You believe that, Chris? Jesus, Jesus is God. So we can pray with you right now. But that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, yes. it's from the Amen. heart, man. Amen. Because I don't want to, we don't want to leave the people in the prayers and then to go back and do the same stuff, man. Right, they got to right. know okay. from the yeah. heart, man. Uh, so. What, uh, are you bound by something? If there's something like you're going through, can you, can you share it? Drug, 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 yeah. Which drug? Uh, meth. Meth. Hey man, check this out. Check bro. his testimony, man. I'm from Texas, and I was up in a place called Benbrook, Texas, on the other side of Fort Worth, Texas, about three weeks ago. This makes my fourth week being clean off of the meth. Jesus Christ set me free, brother, and He can do the same for you. God's word says He ain't a God of respect or a person. What that mean? There's a guy over there, I gave him a gospel track, and he was asking, do y'all want me to help you hold the sign? This guy wants to be set free for drugs. Does he want to? Or give me a second. Let Mike talk to him. Okay, hold on. Because there's a void. There's an emptiness inside. Am I being right, Chris? And that void is Jesus Christ, man. He wants to tell me. It's because I had to step in. Right now, they're about to do another sin spray, and I had to step in and tell them. And now we're breaking down with the sin, drug addiction. We're going to pray for deliverance. That's an experience. You know, for me, you know, like I said, it ain't no playing around. If you really want to give your heart to Christ, man, and be set free, it's true, it's true repentance, man. And what that means, you can't go back out there and start smoking Christmas mess next hour or two. Not ready, ready. Not ready. Not ready, ready for Jared. the Lord. You still, you don't want to be set free. You're not ready to let go of this and that. You don't want to let it go, yeah. Yeah. You're just not ready to come to the Lord yet. But you know you can be here today and die, right? You're not yeah. promised tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it's something to think about. At least you're, honest. At least you're yeah. being honest, Chris. And that's oh, why the importance of kind of explain it to him man that way he knows because i didn't want to give you we didn't want to give you any false hope we don't want to pray with you and right. say this and let you go on your way chris because christ wants to set you free he came to set the captives free we all have different testimonies of christ coming into our life and setting us free from drug addiction from pornography from fornication from anger from hate all this stuff and christ came to set people free chris but it has to be our free will choice we got to be willing to humble ourselves and confess that we're a sinner in need of a Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, and Chris, any time, man, even if you walk off today and you change your mind, 30 minutes later, an hour later, you can do it anywhere. It's as simple as saying, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. That's what, what in the parable of Luke, the guy, he went up and said, Lord, have mercy. I'm a sinner. And he was justified right there in confessing that Jesus is Lord and believing what he did for you on the Amen, cross. Amen. That's man. right. Man. So you can do that anywhere, but you have to make the choice, Chris. And, uh, like I said, man, it's it's our choice, but Christ wants to set you free. Freedom means, man, being free from the bondage of addiction, the pull on your life. There's a pull always. You know, you've been rejected. You've been through a lot of things. Hey, what happened right here? Here, are you kicking this up? Here. Don't kick it. 